Okay guys, welcome to uh, a, a series I haven't done for a while, it's Zombie Challenges, and uh, it, we're going to be doing No Magic on the Map Town. Uh, now this is um, on PC, uh, last time I did Zombie Challenges it was on Xbox 360, uh, I recently bought Black Ops 2 and uh, the Season Pass uh, on PC, and then two days fucking later, everything activation goes on sale. I mean, Black Ops 2, I still got cheaper than it is on sale for now, but like, it's the season pass is 50% off, and I'm like, not amused. <sighs> One thing I don't get, but is that, for some reason, when you spawn on Black, on PC, on Black Ops 2, you kind of go down, for some reason. I don't know why. Now, the starting rounds, Fairly simple. You just play them like you usually do. You play them like I'm, I'm fairly certain that's a song. I don't think it goes play them like you do, but do me like you do. I don't know. I haven't really paid much attention to uh, pop songs in the last three, two or three years. I know. Sorry, that's a lie. I paid attention a little bit. Um, not la last year? Yeah, last year. About a year ago. Just over a year ago now. Uh, when I had a job. Yes, I had a job for uh, all of literally about two and a half weeks, I think it was. Um, they wrongfully fired me. So, yeah. Story time with Stevie. Uh, basically, um, I wasn't doing well enough in the training. So, instead of, you know, maybe giving me more training, they went, no, fuck you. On the, and then they gave me literally about five minutes notice, which just supposed to give me a week's notice. I said so on my, said so on my contract, and I just couldn't be asked to do anything about it. Right. To be honest, I didn't really enjoy it. Uh, the only reason I went there was it was a job, um, and it was money, more money than I was getting on benefits. <laughs> Hashtag four twenty. Um. So yeah. I've been playing a fair bit of zombies, uh, trying to get, you know, the achievements done. And I was playing Origins last night. I got everything done! Like, like, like I've been playing a lot of Origins, because Origins is my favourite map, hands down. Like, oh no, sorry. Um, three favourite maps, three. Town. Um, because it's in the big- oh shit, crap. Here's my. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go through it. Town is my favorite map because in the basic game, base game, you don't need any DLC for it. Nothing. It's just there, and it's a small map, but it's got everything you need. Usually, it's got um. It's got jug up there and quick revive and speed killer and double tap and also tombstone if you're playing with other people and stamina up. And you've also got the pack punch. You've got the boxes. You got all your war weapons. Like you got your M14, you got your MP5, and then that's pretty much it. Sorted. You've even got Semtex. Um, you know, I don't think I'll open this door because I don't need this door open at all. Like you can't access the bank. There's no speed holder in there. So I think I'll just open these two doors. But yeah, you got all that, uh, and it's fine. It's great. So that problem, the lava. Lava is such a pain. Like honestly, the amount of times I've gone down from. Oh look, explosion. Because, like, you get exploded, you get, you explode, you, you survive two explosions, and then, uh, and they, they damage the zombies as well, which is a pain, the fire. Um, the lava, if they're on fire, like, let me watch. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, see, see, now I'm red screened. It's ridiculous. So that's why I don't like it. But the Origins, um, which is fun. Um, Origins is probably my favorite, you know, uh, big map. I've I, like straight away as soon as I started playing Origins, loved it. I. But yeah, uh, Town. Before I got any of the DLC, Town was just that was what I played most. Actually, no, even after I got some of the DLC, because I didn't buy the season pass on Xbox. I um. What am I doing? No point really saving a zombie. Because uh, at the time I didn't have the cash to buy it. So I just bought the DLC when I could. Um, and 
I played Town. Town was my favourite. I got Dairise. Dairise sucked. I hate Dairise. Always have done. Always will. You fall off maps. Fall off, like, fall down between buildings and... The amount of times I've been setting up and then... I fucked up a jump or something. And I've lost, like, I've gotten, like, 100k out of the bank. And then fucked up the jump. Um... Yeah, uh, what else, what else may? Okay, so yeah, Origins, Origins is a favorite map, um, hands down. Favorite big map, but Dairy sucks. Uh, Buried is too easy. Transit is annoying for the same reasons as Town, and it's, and the face scratches are just a pain in the butt. Um, what else have we got? We've got, Buried is just too easy. Like, you get money in the bank, you're, just, you're, you're sorted. <laughs> Up. It's ridiculous. Uh, what else have we got? Mob of the Dead. I didn't really like. I played a lot of Mob of the Dead to start with. The uh, first time I ever played Mob of the Dead was with Dave uh, on the channel. Uh, we got to around 32 uh, and then failed and then died when trying to do the Easter egg. And that kind of, kind of put me off um, Mob of the Dead for a while. Um. By MP5. Like I'm not like if I get to like round ten uh, without any magic, I'll be like, round ten's a nice at least round ten. Anyway, um, I think I might buy the Olympia. I don't know how much damage the Olympia Olympia does, honestly. So let's find out. Uh, that put me off. But then I got back into Mob of the Dead, and uh, there's a lot of Mob of the Dead that I didn't do when I first played, and it's just really fun now. I prefer. I do prefer maps where you know you don't have the bank. That's what I found. Cause like I, I'm Xbox. I still want to get killed to the face. That's nice. I mean, reloading's a bitch, but see, it's not exactly the most accurate. Like you get two shots. Kind of a, kind of a pain. You've got to be quite close, apparently. Okay, yeah, definitely quite close. Anyway, um... Oh shit, oh shit, no, fuck, I'm dead. That, that doesn't count. <laughs> wow. Lasted all of about five minutes. Okay, that's embarrassing. Okay, let's do this again. <laughs> um, anyway. Um, so yeah, let's not go with the Olympia. Stick with the M14 and the MP5. Yeah, um, very just too easy... Die Rise is too bitchy. Um, town is fun. Uh, transit can be fun. It's just a pain because, especially because you've got you've got to turn on power. Like you got to go power, place the turbine down. You've got to go to town uh, to pack a punch, and then you've got to stay in the pack a punch. Otherwise, it will close. What's that about? Honestly, sucks. Worst idea ever. Um, Origins, like I said, his favorite map. There are a few, a few annoyances about it. Um, for example, the zombies are spawn at like round ten, nine, ten. Um, the turn the generators off. They're a pain in the butt. Uh, and the Panzer can be annoying, uh, especially in round eight if you haven't, if you haven't got anything. Uh, like, cause he grabs you. Like, like, it's fine, but it's like if he grabs you when you're training him. You're dead. And if, if you miss all... Like, you can shoot his hand, his, the bit on his arm, but, like, if you miss, or you're reloading when he grabs you, you're, you're pretty much fucked. That's it, really. Game over. Unless you've got quick revive on your own. If you're Unless you're playing with friends. Or, or with, with people, rather. Because not necessarily friends. But unless you're playing with people, or you have quick revive, then it's game over. Sorry. That's just how it is. Just, I don't know why I opened that door first. Force of habit last time. I should open that door first. Because that's... Yeah, I, I still will open that door because that's what I do. I, do. I go from one to the other, to the other, to the other. That's my training route, so... 
Yeah, no Olympia. Open this door, then I'll have direct access to the MP5, like straight away. And another thing about um, transit I don't like. Uh, like I, what I like about transit is literally it's four different maps. It's so big, it's four different maps. Oh shit, it's fucking round two now, isn't it? Four different maps, and you literally slap them together to make one pretty big map. And I love big, ma big maps. And you've got all the bits in between each map as well, and you've got some map areas, some more areas other than four maps, and it's fun. Um, but like I love to like like I've said before, town is where I that's where I love that's where I go to train. Now uh, there's just two problems with with that method. Uh, there's no war weapons. Um. I mean, to offset that, there is two box locations. But obviously, you know, that's completely random. Okay, die, I see. Yeah, there, there are two box locations, but, I mean, you might get it there, and then it might go to fucking farm, and then, and then it might come back here, or it might go to the depot, or back to diner, or to power. It's just... a pain. Like, Diorite just isn't even mentionable, really. It just sucks ass. Like, there's no good things about Diorite. Like, the, there's one good thing about Diorite, and that's the Sliquifier. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> there's, there's nothing else. I mean, it even... Like, it adds a new perk, Who's Who. And that's just what... That's just the worst idea ever. Because Who's Who is essentially... Uh, a quick revive, except you can have it in um, multiplayer as well. But basically, you go down, you then respawn without any of your weapons, without any of your perks, a short distance away from where you went down. Now think about it. There's two. Re there's going to be two reasons in Dead where you go down. One, there's a horde of zombies. Or two, you've fallen off a building. Fallen off a building. Okay. Fine. Horde of zombies. Not so much. Yeah, rescue me now. Great. Uh, for example, um, camping spot on the roof. Um, get trample steam, stick it up against the window, camp down by the ramp. Sorted. Now, most of the time, when I respawn with Huzu, uh, I spawn off to the left slightly. You know where the uh, the two lifts come up? Like, if you've never played um, Die Rise, you won't know. But uh, basically, you've got, you've got the ramp coming down, and you've got the window where you put the trample steam, and you camp there. And there's a little doorway there, and then you go out there, and there's two lifts. That's essentially it. Um, now, that's, that area is where I usually spawn. That's not too bad. I mean, you've got the lifts, but like if you fall down the lift shaft, you're dead. Um, if you, what else? Uh, if the if you did die from war zombies, um, and they all start funneling in through that one doorway, that is your only exit from that area, unless there's lifts, and the only way you can escape from the lifts is if they're there and leading, because otherwise the horde of zombies will follow you into onto the lift, and you will die, because you have no perks. You've got no weapons, you've got nothing to fend off. The only thing, you can't even buy a weapon. I don't know if you can actually buy weapons in, uh, Uzu mode. But, um... You can, yeah, you, you definitely, uh... My accuracy is so off. Yeah, it's, it's... Even if you could buy weapons, or even if you can buy weapons, there's no weapons for you to buy. And the only thing you can buy there is a claymore. And that just gets you more fucked, because then you got to go around a corner uh, onto a pathway that has even less exit uh, options than the original area that you were in. So yeah, not my favourite map at all. I have been playing a lot of, of Origins uh, uh, though, I'm trying to get the Easter eggs done. And, um... Uh, I keep fucking up. Like, because basically what you want to do is you want to get everything set up uh, by 
the end of round seven. So you've got, you know, you've got your three staffs built. They're in the crazy place. Oh no, two of them are in the crazy place. You've got wind and ice in the crazy place. You've got, you're carrying, oh, this is solo, you're carrying the lightning spell. And then by round eight, you want all the challenges done for the lightning staff. And you've got all the fire staff parts. Everything's open, everything's upgraded. Um, then you can't do anything else until you get the third fire piece staff. And the third fire piece staff is. Oh shit. Ah, oh, that's a bad idea. Yep, now I'm red screened. Okay, yeah, this is not good. Run. Third fire piece staff. Now, the only way to get that is to kill the very first panther spot. Um, that's not. Uh, that's not too bad. I mean, you got a lightning staff, surely it can't be that hard. Alright, uh, yeah, but I keep. I keep popping up and, uh. killing the last. You wanna leave a zombie round. Um. At least by rounds, uh. In fact, you wanna be doing it, like, each round, really, until you've got everything done. Just in case, you know. You're doing it each round so that, uh, in case the zombie dies, you've still got the next round. And then you've got the next round of that. So, like, and obviously, um, you can get the ice staff part, you need it to be snowing. So, you need that. Oh, one second. I'm oh, sorry about that, guys. Um, my sister brought me food. Yeah, we had an argument about, well, not really an argument, a, dis a discussion about how Minecraft is, no, my night is different than. Back up two zombie challenges in the ter terms of uh, eating while recording. Like, if I've got munchies, no problem with that. Like, I can, like, I could just be dipping my hand into a packet of munchies right now. Um, meatball and pasta. Oh shit. Oh, meat meatballs and pasta. Not quite so dippable. Like, you know. Geronimo! Oh shit, bad. Nope, zombie. Uh, okay, but yeah. Yeah, um. And I keep. Anyway, going back to the earlier discussion. Um. I keep going down with, um. Oh god, nope, zombie behind me. Okay, yeah, you see? Now I kind of want to open bank. Good escape route. And I'm running out of bullets. Oh, I forgot there's no pickups either with no magic, is there? I was wondering why I hadn't had, like, an kill or a nuke, or... Like, ow. In no insta-kills, no nukes, no double points, no max ammo. <laughs> Pardon me, not even any carpenters. I'm not even sure if you get carpenters in town. Uh, and I have one meatball, and I'm really hungry for meatballs. Jesus. I made a mistake. I made a grave mistake. I shouldn't, shouldn't have had that meatball. Had a bit of lag there. Bye. Bye! One thing I've noticed about playing on PC... Is, you know, it's not such a big deal of multiplayer. Um, but I can imagine in campaign it would be annoying. And it is very annoying in uh, Black Ops. In Zombies. Uh, when you're running along and you grab... Like, like I was just doing there. You're running along, you grab some ammo. And then... It doesn't grab it. Now, the only reason I can think of that is because you're technically pressing... I was technically pressing shift and uh, whatever direction key I was pressing. And then you were also pressing E. So the only thing I can think of is it's thinking, oh, he's pressing... Ow. The only thing I can... Th the only reason I can think of that doing that for is it's going... Oh, he's pressing shift, direction key, and E. That's not the key bind he has set for that. Like, that's the only reason, and it's so annoying. Because, like, like I'm, I'm all for key bindings. Because I love key bindings. I hate the fact that if you're using a controller on PC games or on console, and on console you just can't, you can't remap the buttons. Like, you've got layouts. Like, I don't want layouts, I want to use my own custom key binds, you know? And, um, it's, you know, it's, I, I, but then on, when you get to PC, you're like, oh yes, custom keybinds. But, like, you can't have the same button doing two different things. Like, for example, on an Xbox controller, I'm playing Black Ops 2 Zombies right now, say town. 
Yeah. X is reload. X is also buy ammo. Or a weapon. Or repair oh shit. Repair that barrier before that zombie comes through. Y is just switch weapons. Um What else? You've got uh, Y switch switch weapons. Um, that's really it, honestly. I need to reload and oh. You know, you'd think that between a zombie and lava, lava would be the less the, the less uh, would not be the lesser of two evils, but in Black Ops 2 Zombies it is. Yeah, okay, uh, okay, so oh Jesus Christ, I didn't see them coming in behind me. Okay, so I was, I, that's the reason. Anyway, Max Ammo, not the fact that I've been waiting for Max Ammo is the reason I haven't. But, um. Oh no! Oh Jesus! Waiting for a max ammo is the reason I haven't bought ammo for my M14. Which I should probably do now that I've realised I'm not getting any max ammo. Oh, nope, nope, you can't get me. Burn them, burn them, burn them. Have a time. Stevie time, yeah! My eyes have suddenly started stinging. I'm. I can smell the food. It's really nice smelling food. It's like tomato sauce, like not ketchup, but like um, pasta sauce uh, with pasta and meatballs. And they're really nice meatballs. I've had them before. And it's just, I love them. Like, personally, I love beef. Like, beef is great. Oh, well, as long as it's cooked nicely. Like, min um, mince, beef steak, burgers, uh, beef sausages. Um, what else? Beef, I like beef. Okay, that's just it. Beef. Beef is great. Beef is love. Beef is, beef is life. Um, but uh, I don't like beef that's, uh, you know, like diced beef. I like I like diced beef. Um, but, like, if you cook it wrongly, like, I don't like stringy beef. But at the same time, I don't like undercooked beef. Like, I have my steaks um, medium rare. I love how this is like Black Ops 2 Zombie Challenges and I'm just talking about random shit. Oh shit. Like, I like my ste uh, steaks on medium rare, honestly. Like, more medium than rare. Yeah? Uh, that's just how I like it, because, like, I don't like it too cooked, but at the same time, I don't like it undercooked. Oh shit, it's bad. Uh, nope, nope. Can't touch me again. Yeah, fucking whoopty whoop yeah. Stop running at me, bitch. I'm doing quite well. We've, re we've reached round 10 now, so we just need to survive round 10. And right again. Let's get out of here. Look at me. The fucking um, MP5 is in a really bad position. Oh god. Nope! <sighs> oh well. So much for ha for needing to survive uh, round ten, though. Yeah, that was great. <sighs> okay, so uh, yeah, don't forget to tune in. This will be a going up uh, on Tuesday at five o'clock, and there will also be other zombie challenges uh, on Thursday at five o'clock uh, p.m. Obviously, and Greenwich Mean Time. Um, so don't forget, if you're interested, don't forget to tune in then. So it'll be every Tuesday and Thursday for a few weeks at least, because I've got a, a big list of, of, I guess, back to front for you guys, but big list. Like, that's on a bunch of different maps as well. Like, you've got No Jug, which can be done on pretty much any map. Uh, no Magic, again. Uh, no Power, which is more transit, uh... Not sure if you could really do it on Origins 
All Mother the Dead. Um, and obviously Buried. I'm not doing on Dar I'm not doing any challenges on Die Rise. I'm sorry, I'm just not. First room challenges: Bad Guns, uh, Greedy Man, Wall Guns. Around 20. Uh, wall uh, you might go. Wall Guns is just the same as No Magic, but no, you get drops and you've also got perks. Uh, but yeah. Uh, round 20, uh, I'll explain that when I do it. I think I might do that next, actually. Yeah, I think I will. Hey, don't forget, I've been CV, uh, yeah, don't forget to tune in on Thursday for a new episode. Uh, I've been CV. Everything you need to know is, as always, in the description below. Um, you guys have been awesome. Peace.